For the first thing of your skillet lab, you're going to be making the hash browns. So the first thing you need to do is get a pot of water with a lid and get it on the stove and put it on high. So you fill it up as much as you possibly can. And then once it's been sitting for a while, like mine has been, you see rapid bubbles. So the key term when you're thinking of boil, it needs to be rapid bubbles. If it's just small bubbles, it's not boiling. So once you see your rapid bubbles, you're going to turn the heat down to about a medium heat. And you're going to put your potatoes for your hash browns in there. So on this day, you're boiling your potatoes and you're actually going to grate them. So then when we come into lab tomorrow, you're going to be able to just walk in and kind of throw everything in your pan and make your skillet. Once your potatoes have been boiling in the pot for a few minutes, you want to kind of check. You can kind of grab anything out of your bin. You could grab like a butter knife or a fork, and you just want to check for tenderness. So as you can see, the, our rubber scraper went in there nice and easy, so that means that they are ready. So now we have a hot pot, so we need to put an oven mitt on. We don't want to get burned. You're going to take your pot with your potatoes over to the sink, and you're going to pour it into a colander. Obviously a colander has holes, so the potatoes are going to stay and the water is going to go. Just kind of pour it through. And then just your potatoes are in there. And then to cool them off, you don't want to have a hot potato. <laughs> to cool them off, just kind of run cold water over them for a few minutes. And once they're cool, you can put them in your bag and label them for tomorrow. At the beginning of day two, you're going to take your potato out of the out of the refrigerator and you're going to start to grate it. You don't need to peel it because it's going to come off really, really easily with the grater. I already started grating it, so, but I'm going to show you a little bit on here. I like to go over a paper towel just so it's not all over the place. And you want to use the big holes. And you're just going to rub it back and forth. And it goes really quick if your potato is nice and soft. You can use as much as you can. And then there it is. So you get as much of it as you can off and into your bowl. And then if your potato feels kind of liquidy, you're going to want to take it and squeeze the liquid out with the paper towels. So you have brown paper towels in your kitchen, and you're just going to kind of plop a little bit on there, and then put another one on top, and you'll be able to see the liquid being absorbed. So this one's not too bad. You're going to do that with all of your potatoes, and then throw it into a new bowl.